20 years ago that Kansas has lost three games in a row. It doesn't happen to them often. And it will be stunning if it gets to four. I don't know if they've ever lost four in a row in their Bill Self. But he made a comment about now is not the time. He understands that this team has a very small room for error. The margin for them is smaller than they've had in probably his 20 years there. And so they're like, do you, do you get on them? Do you kind of push them a little bit? They're going to do that. But he made the comment. He goes, no, this is not the time. This is a, this is a, a war of attrition with this conference. It's, it's not going to be somebody going ripping off 16-2. and two. With all due respect to K-State, if they do that, great. They're right now on a roll uh, with what they've done at 6-1. and one. But then he was also asked about how they have fallen behind in these three games, this three-game losing streak, including last night against Baylor. Well, it's three games in a row. Uh, it was probably longer than more than that, maybe. So, so uh, yeah, I, I think uh, uh, I, I think that we can certainly be better in that in that uh, area. But but I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, the way that K State played the first ten minutes, the way TCU played the first ten minutes, and the way Baylor played the first ten minutes, uh, if we'd have played really well, we would still been behind. Uh, those three teams played great. I mean, Baylor made everything they looked at tonight to start, and, and, and you know, it felt like they were four of their first five from three. I don't know, maybe four of their first six or whatever. And, and so, uh, yeah, give them credit on that. Uh, but, yeah, it, 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 it's when, when, when you, you know, uh, Brad Livingstone and, and, and uh -oh. the president, you know, we, 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 we all went to Oklahoma State, and wrestling is big at Oklahoma State. Okay, and you know when when you're when you're on on top and you can get riding time, it takes twice as much energy if you're the low man in wrestling as it does playing with the lead and riding time. That's exactly the way basketball is too. So 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 and and that's a great analogy if you guys want to write it down. So so but 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 the thing about it is when 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 you're behind, it takes more energy. Everything's magnified. It, it takes it takes uh, more effort. And when you're playing uh, when you're playing with the lead, obviously you're looser. Uh, uh, everything's not life or death. And 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 I've always learned that. I always thought that at wrestling. You know, watching those guys at Oklahoma State. Uh, uh, how it's so exhausting it is over a course of time, you can you can definitely wear your opponent out that way. Bill Self last night being pretty honest, pretty transparent. Thanks to, uh, by the way, Jack McKenzie at the post game last night after Baylor's win against Kansas. And it does make sense. You, It's kind of like in golf. If you get a couple of strokes behind it, or a couple of holes behind it, match play, every shot magnifies how important it is because you have little room for error. Yeah, but you want to know why, why Bill Self is so good at his job? Like, there's a guy. Would you have known that that guy is on a three-game losing streak right now? In different years, you probably would have seen a little bit of a different type response. I think I mean, that's what I mentioned before. He kind of gets – he understands that this is going to be a little bit of a different animal for them, the way they have to fight, fight through this, which they've never really had to do. Well, yeah, but, I mean, like, even still, I mean, he, look, he's coming off the national title. You know, it's the second one, so – he can breathe a little easier. Now, there would be probably years where, you know, had they not won the national title just a year ago, fans would be freaking out even more than they are. But uh, he, he has a realistic um, look on it um, from what what their roster is, what they're going to have to do. And, um, you know, late, you know, there's not – there's not a, a get right game in the conference. There's not mm -hmm. those game that, you know, some conferences have three or four where you can, you can go and have a get right game. This is a 10 team league and all 10 teams, even the ones who are struggling are good. So you don't get a get right game. Or if you do, uh, it's not something that you were looking to the schedule going, well, if we get to that one, we can work on some things. You just can't because every team is different. Every team is tough. Ask every Iowa State tough. when they played Oklahoma State this past weekend. Right? Yeah, exactly. That, that wasn't a get-right game. That was a stay-hot no, game. Yeah. But you can't, like, you can't sustain. You know, you can't – you know, when you have – if you have a, a 9-10 game winning streak in this league, that that team is a juggernaut. Mm -hmm. you know, it's it's – you're not going to lose too many people. So uh, you have you have to deal uh, with the league night in and night out. And uh, that's every year he makes a comment about Brad Livingstone. My favorite one was somebody asked him one time about, um, you know, their effort down low. And, he, he like, his first thing was, well, you know, he doesn't play as well as Brad Livingstone. I think he was talking about, like, David McCormick. And I, like, turned around. And I was like, what? Yeah, and there was, it, yeah. he was in there. So y'all know their next four against? 
Kansas yeah. plays Texas next. Is that right? No, they play Kentucky, Kentucky next, yeah. um, which is not the Kentucky that you typically would think of. But uh, they've gotten better since the fire Calipari calls like yeah. a month ago. Uh, they've, they've had a run since then. But uh, you've got Kentucky coming up in the Big 12 SEC Challenge on Saturday, then hosting K-State on Tuesday, then turning around at Iowa State on that following Saturday, and then – Texas on Monday night following that uh, at home. So, yeah, three straight uh, top 12 opponents following their game against Kentucky this weekend, which is uh, in Lexington. So that's also a a road game. So, yeah, in Lexington and then against number five at home, 12 on the road, and number 10 at home. Well, and they just played K-State ranked top 15 when they beat Kansas. They just played TCU in the top Mm -hmm. 15 or 20, and they just played Baylor which has been kind of nudging themselves back into the top 20, and it just never ends. Kansas, Kentucky yep. should be their easiest based on analytics, stats, data, and wins and losses. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. So, yeah, I mean, they've, they've lost, but they've lost to three top 25 teams uh, in a row. And so, you know, take that into consideration. But I think he's a guy who's seen enough basketball and knows his team well enough to know when or when not to panic. And, and right now is probably not the best time. So uh, I think he handled that well. I think probably having some friendly faces uh, like a Brad Livingstone there probably takes the edge off of it uh, too. But, I mean, the guy's a, you know, the reigning national champion, so I think Kansas will be fine. But uh, it does go to show you, I don't want to sound like, you know, SEC football guys, but it does go to show you just the, 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 the danger that you're in in this league if you don't show up ready to play on any given night, no matter, you know, who it is. Uh, yes, even the bottom teams can jump up and bite you if you're not careful. And that's not who Kansas has lost to. There's that saving grace that it has been to who it's been against. But, yeah, uh, definitely need to, to break that slide. And that's why when Baylor was 0-3, the two losses to TCU and Kansas State, look where they are and where they have been. Both at home, though, that's what hurt despite the last-minute, last-possession losses. When we come back, uh, a couple of other 